Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters in the Elmer team. Today talking about red flags to watch out for when buying a home. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters in the Elmer team. Thanks so much for watching. And today I'm going to cover a couple of things that you want to watch out for when buying a home. And ultimately when you're selling a home, you want to check these things as well. So one of the important issues is that Obviously, you want to check for a significant cracking in the foundation or the walls. Now, little cracks here and there are normal. They happen. Obviously, the ground shifts over time. But you really want to be aware if there is some significant cracking and in the foundation and in the walls and get that checked out by a professional. That way you know and have peace of mind if there are any issues or if it's just uh, neglect over time. Another issue to want to check for, especially with older homes, is the sewer piping. Now frequently in older homes, especially ones built in the 1940s or older, have either cast iron or clay pipes in this area. Now if those are cracked, frequently they can last for many, many years still in that cracked position, but over time they can develop issues and eventually they will be replaced, which can be very expensive. So that is something that you may want to get checked out while you're in escrow with the home. And in order to do that, you can hire a plumber and they can send a camera down there to check that line out for you and tell you the extent of the damage. Now another thing that you may want to get checked out is your roof. Especially older roofs, many of them will have asbestos in them, which can be much more expensive to replace. Or some of the older roofs like uh, the rock tile or the cedar shingle, some of them can last up to 50 years, but some of them are only also good for 20 years, like flat roofs or those rock roofs I mentioned. So you just wanna be aware of what that looks like, especially with those older roofs and how much that might be to replace. Another thing you wanna watch out for is knob and tube wiring. There are many insurance companies that will not insure a home with knob and tube wiring. So you do want to be aware, again, especially in those older homes in the 1940s, 1920s, uh, or 1900s, that those homes can frequently have that knob and tube wiring in the walls. Now, some of it has been bypassed for some of the newer homes, or some of the homes have been remodeled. So again, just something you want to check and have uh, checked out by an electrician. Mold and mildew is a very common thing that you want to check out. Of course, mold and mildew is everywhere. So there are some that it's going to be harmful and some that is not. There is a test that can be done while you're in escrow to so check that out and see if it's anything that's of concern for you that needs to be remediated. And lastly, a very important thing then is sometimes overlooked in homes that are older than 1978 is lead-based paint. Now, if you're going to be have adults only in the home, and you're probably not going to have too many issues with this because almost all homes that were built prior to 1978 are going to have lead-based paint somewhere in the home. But if you have smaller children or if the paint is flaked or peeling, that can frequently release that lead-based paint into the home and it can cause uh, especially a small child to ingest that paint. So you just be, want to be especially careful with that and check that out as well. If you have any questions about this or you want to make sure you are aware of any of these factors when you're buying a home, feel free to give us a call and we'll be sure to step you through that process. If you have any questions or you want to pass this on to your friends, feel free to do so. My number is 562-316-2915 or you can email us at melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching.